Hey family and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So a few days ago I talked about the definition of a narcissistic person. I gave you two definitions and I also gave you 10 traits if you are dealing with or in a relationship with with a person who is very narcissistic. So today I'm going to give you the five tips on how to stay sane when you are dealing with or in a relationship with a narcissistic person. Again, so five tips. Stay tuned. All right, thank you so much, family, for coming on back. Okay, five tips on how to stay sane when you are in a relationship with or dating a narcissistic person. The very first one is for you to understand that your emotional needs are not going to be met with this particular partner. So you have to go outside somewhere where you can talk freely, somewhere where you can actually open up and express yourself emotionally, somewhere where you're actually going to get the care that you need from somebody on the outside other than your narcissistic person that you're dealing with so again your emotional needs are going to be met outside of the household the second thing that you have to understand when you are dealing with a narcissistic person and so you can keep your sanity is that you will not get your way too often so if you are okay with pretty much following the person's plan, whether it's the male or the female, does not matter. If you are okay with pretty much following their plan, their system throughout your relationship, then you have to understand that this is something that you will deal with on a consistent basis, that you will not get your way. So that is something else to think about. The third thing that you have to realize and understand is that it's not about you at all. It's pretty much all about them. And they're not going to change that. Again, is this something that you can deal with for the long term? It's pretty much never going to be about you. It's always going to be about them. So again, something to think about. The fourth thing to understand how to keep your sanity in your relationship with a narcissistic person is to practice self-care. That actually includes like exercise. It also includes getting closer to God or depending on, you know, who you call God, higher power, universe, etc., getting close to God and um, definitely the exercise and that's not only exercising your body that's exercising your mind as well some people um, do some meditation as well but you got to find ways to pretty much recenter yourself so you can keep your sanity in this relationship with this narcissistic person the fifth and final tip on how to keep your sanity while you are in a relationship with a narcissistic person is to get outside into other interests that you are interested in. Um, you know, again, besides your relationship. So you have to pretty much get outside interests. Uh, so these are the five tips that I am giving you if you are in a relationship with or um, thinking about dating someone that you know is pretty narcissistic. These are the things that you're going to have to deal with on a consistent basis. Again, I, I said it in the, the video a few days ago, this is not the type of relationship for me, but that's not why we are here. We're not here to judge you. If this is the type of relationship that you can deal with, then just understand that um, specifically that your emotional needs are not going to be met. It's pretty much not going to be about you. You're hardly ever going to get your way and you have to go outside to um, basically get your outside interest and also just to keep your sanity by becoming more reflective, spiritual, exercising the mind and body, etc. So I would love to hear your comments down in the comment section below. Have you dealt with someone like this? Are you married to a narcissistic person how do you handle your day-to-day -day relationship with them go ahead and give us some tips down in the comment section below because this is a question that has come up to me more than one time so I know if one or two of you are dealing with it who verbally expressed it that means that several of you guys are dealing with it who has just never said anything about it so I'm definitely want to make sure that I come and cover the narcissistic person how to deal with them in the relationship and if you decide to get in a relationship with them these are some of the things that you need to think about so um, if you have not checked out the video that I did a few days ago then go ahead and check that out of course I will link that down in the description box below and up here as well so go ahead and click that I so you can check out that video just so you can have a overall picture so you can decide if this is someone the type of person that you would want to live with and deal with their crap because all of us bring crap to the table 
um, on a consistent basis and not only on a consistent basis, a long term relationship, i.e. marriage. All right. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is how to stay happy with a narcissistic person that you decide to be in the relationship with. I'll see you again. Deuces.